Okay, so you may have noticed in some of the applications that um, in applications like, say, Illustrator or Affinity, you have a lot of control over the shape, the stroke, the color, and everything's kind of combined and linked to one spline. Now, in Fusion, you can kind of do one or the other and then you layer it over the top. Um, and I'm sure that's something you've kind of run into, but we're going to be looking at a technique that you can use to just keep everything kind of procedural. Um, and you know, you, you'll see in a second um, how powerful this can be. Okay, so with this background selected, I'm just going to select the Bezier tool. I'm just going to click around here, just draw a random shape. See, just something really simple like this. Okay, so we know if we drag this in, we can have a mask. <coughs> so everything's generated from a mask. Um, and the mask can either be solid like this, or it can have a thickness. But we can't apply both to the same background at the same time so we tend to layer these and then when we layer these it breaks the kind of proceduralness of everything um, so we're going to be looking at how we can instance this um, de-instance some parameters and um, just show you how you can kind of have multiple splines linked or instanced to the same spline okay so what we'll do is we're just going to go back here um, and let's just reset this so change this to zero uh, make it solid again and I want to copy this okay so I want to control C and then I'm going to deselect and I'm going to shift control V and what this does is this creates an instance of the poly polygon um, and essentially what it is it's just a copy but the copy has um, expressions that are linked back to the original um, on everything but then we can de-instance some of these parameters as well um, to have an instant copy but just have a few things that we want to change and update um, and that can be things like um, you know where this is solid so we want to de-instance this here uh, we want to de-instance the border width so we'll do that uh, <clears throat> and then we'll just drag this in and you'll be able to see make it um, unsolid and then give it some kind of border width here uh, we want a new color on this background okay so let's just pick something like um, a black for the border just for now um, link this in here drag this over the top of the output to merge everything together and we'll pull this in and now you can see we've um, merged that border over the top of the shape but the real control comes in here with if we go back to the original spline here we can grab a point and you can see when I'm moving the point around it's now moving both so it's controlling the spline on both of these at the same time um, so it means that we can go in here we can uh, change the border width again um, and we can do you know there's lots of things you can do once you've kind of done this setup you can build upon this so you can create if you want to create another procedural um, stroke on this we can do that um, so what I can do is I can copy this one um, and then I can just make a, an instance copy of that one again. Um, okay, so or we'll just copy the original. So copy that one. Deselect, Shift, Control, and V. Make another copy. Um, let's pull this here so you can see the line. Um, and then this is already de um, instance here. Okay, so you can see if we just make another color. Uh, change it to anything we'll just make it like a light blue bluey green pull this in here merge these over the top pull this in so we can see this okay so we just want to look at this spline um, and we want that to so let's just de-instance the border width on this one again before we change anything de-instance the solid there so we don't want it to be solid we do want it to have a bit of the width um so now let's drag this in so now you can see we're customizing multiple strokes to this okay so we can go in here and we can change all these parameters and again um, if i move put any of the points everything is procedural okay so hope this helps and um hopefully i'll be able to release another one soon